That's the most loaded roster I think I've ever seen. That Miami team had so much swagger. Bad to the bone. They were in your face. The list of first round draft picks is incredible. Woo! Wow, 2001 Miami Hurricane. Everybody remembers the Miami Hurricanes of the early 90s and late 80s, but that 2001 team was the U kind of being back. A lot of the posers now will flash this up. Well, it wasn't posing back then. I mean, that was a fact. That swagger was, was a part of the persona of the U, and, and it continued uh, with that 2001 team. Uh, you, they would hit you in the mouth and tell you to like it because there was more to come. You look at that roster, and first thing that comes to mind, um, which I guess is kind of strange, but how in the hell do you recruit that many really good players to one place? I can see all these guys right now because they all played in the NFL. Um, Vince Wolfork. You had Ed Reed there, of course, an NFL uh, future Hall of Famer. Jonathan Vilma comes to mind. Ken Dorsey wasn't looked at as like this incredibly talented player, but he was also an NFL quarterback. The running backs, McGahee. Clinton Portis, who I played with as a teammate with the Denver Broncos. Najee Davenport. Frank Gore. Andre Johnson was one wide receiver. Shockey at the tight end. 17 first round draft picks after that. 38 players drafted in, played in the NFL. Studs up and down the board, every position. I think one of the things that stood out the most was how dominant they were. I remember them averaging like 40 some points a game and then they were, they were holding opponents to around 10. I mean, it was just, they were dominant the entire year. Winning by 33 points per game is unfair. And that's how good that team was. I mean, it's incredible. I mean, they, they had, I think there were two games uh, they had all season that were close at all. And most of the games were over at the end of the first quarter. I played against the 2001 Miami Hurricanes, uh, having played against them also in the 2000 season. Uh, they came out to Seattle in 2000, and we were their lone loss. So in 2001, uh, this was kind of their retribution here, right? They were going to get everybody's attention, and uh, lo and behold, they did. They beat us 66 to 7 or something like that. I think they're still scoring touchdowns as we're having this conversation. They get to the national title game, and it was it was over before it started. In Nebraska, oof, who shouldn't have been there, by the way, and it looked as, as though in, in, the, in that Rose Bowl championship game. It pains me to say this as a Notre Dame alum, but that 2001 Miami Hurricane team may be the best of all time. I've seen a lot of really good teams and a lot of undefeated teams, but as far as NFL caliber talent, that's the most loaded roster I think I've ever seen. In their era, they were the best team. Flat out, period. I don't think there's much doubt when you're putting the, the great teams together, uh, you know, there's four, five, six teams that stand out and that 2001 Miami team is one of them.